Oh my fucking god. Oh. You look great. You look good. I'm hey. Gonna cry. You look great. Thank you. Come here, you come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I love you, thank you. Baby. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tell me things to make me not cry. I love you. It's a celebration. It's a happy. celebration. And we're going to have a good time. And we're going to celebrate our love. Everybody here to celebrate for us. Yes. And family, yes. friends. Yes. Everybody look beautiful. It's all about you. All about yes. us. And you look, this dress though. Come on. Covenantal institution of marriage is the oldest contract ever written. It is one that was predestined and preordained before the beginning of time. It was instituted by God. And so the scriptural reference, in order to have a blessed formation of two becoming one, it comes out of the book of Psalm, in my opinion, first division of Psalm. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, standeth in the way of sinners, sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. In that law doth he meditate both day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You see, this is how we start the thing. We started out talking about the attitude of gratitude that leads to supernatural spiritual at latitude and here we find ourselves two becoming one so like don't even try it Jeffron, when I first met you, I knew you were different. I knew this was different. But I could have never guessed the journey that would lie ahead. In the beginning, I was quickly impressed by your integrity, your discipline, your consistency, and your work ethic. You came into my life at a time when I needed someone like you the most. Someone with a genuine spirit, someone who is ready to give love. Someone who had the emotional capacity to give me grace. Andre Alexis Adams, time really flies when you're having fun. And when I'm with you, I don't think about time. Look at us now. Here I am, reading my vows at the altar to the woman of my dreams. My perfect match. Andrea, you're the most beautiful and intelligent woman I ever met. My life literally changed the moment you came into my life. Through the ups and downs, you always motivate me and continue to bring the best out of me. To be the best version of myself every single day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for always challenging me. Thank you for always having my back. Thank you for not taking none of my BS and always holding me accountable. You're truly my other half. And I couldn't imagine life without you. You're special, one of a kind, a gem that I've been blessed to find. He who finds a wife. Hello. <laughs> he who finds. <laughs> he who finds a wife finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. I look forward to forever with you, and growing together as, until death do us apart. The only time I should ever be back up on this altar reading vows is us renewing it. I love you.
A number of years ago, I was in a valley. I was at my lowest. I remember during this time, my mother consistently encouraged me to pray and ask God for healing in my spirit, for peace, for discernment, and for wisdom. She also advised me to pray that God would bring a man into my life who was God-fearing, a man with a kind heart, and a man who was family-oriented. Within a few months, I left DC, I started a new journey in Seattle, and I met you. God healed me through my relationship with you. I'm so grateful for all the lessons that you taught me. Thank you for standing by me as I grew into the woman I needed to be for myself and for you. Now, I'm more disciplined, I work harder, I'm a kinder person. I'm a better woman because of you. We've grown deeper in our faith together. We've learned together. We've laughed together. We've made mistakes together. We've forgiven each other. We've cried together. We've formed a solid, unbreakable bond. I know that you love me wholeheartedly, that you respect me, and you'll always prioritize my happiness. I'm ready to rest with you because I know you are my person. I know without any doubt that it's safe to give you my heart. When I look in your eyes, there is no judgment. <laughs> when I look in your eyes, I feel comfort. When I look into your eyes, I'm motivated. <sighs> I'm eternally thankful to God for leading me to you. You are my prayer that has turned into my reality. Jeff Ron, there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't accomplish. I vow to be by your side always. I care about your feelings. I want you to be happy. I believe in your dreams. I understand your vision, and I'll always be there to listen to you. I will always be there to pick you up when you need it, to cheer you on through all your successes, and to support you through all your ventures, to fulfill and fortify you. I vow to honor you and love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally commit to always giving you the grace and forgiveness that you deserve and that you've given me. I vow to do my best to empower you to be the head of our household. Through the wins and the losses that will come, I will never leave your side. I love and admire the man that you are, and I appreciate you deeply. There's nothing we can accomplish with God at the center of our union. <laughs> Jeff Ron, your love is kind. Your love is gentle, and I thank God that on this day, your love is mine for eternity. First, I want y'all to take a minute and just look at what you put together. I mean, literally, black excellence in just generations and just everywhere. Um, look at the community you've created. Look at the happiness that continues to shine through both of you, to your friends, to your family. And look at God's hand, literally, all of you. Um, you guys may not be aware of Gregory Porter. He's a great jazz vocalist. He got a song that talks about that day that you meet the guy. But I want to make your daughter my wife. That's a hard conversation for a lot of people. It's a very difficult conversation. That was right on cue, fellas. I appreciate that.
please and thank you go a long way in a relationship. Not taking one another for granted, understanding the needs of one another, and putting their needs in front of yours. That doesn't come easy to a lot of people, but that's, that's part of what it takes. You have to show her that she's the queen that she is. But I'm gonna put it like this, I'm gonna call it a happiness summary. I say you always should be searching for happiness in your relationship. Laugh when you can, apologize when you should. Let go of what you cannot change. Kiss slowly, play hard, forgive quickly, give everything, every day. Always considering others more than yourself. Have no regrets. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Life's too short to be anything but happy.